Hey guys, Render Joe's here. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our mission for the treated brain. You see Clavis note. His name's Dr. Clavis. He said there was much he'd like to tell. Lucidity is rare for me. Now I believe I have made a breakthrough on H1N1-like variant. You need to cut the brain out of infected people, inject them with a mixture of infected blood and a vial reducer. You do this in any medical mixing center. Uh, put the result in a specimen bag, drop off 10 of these in one of the specimen boxes in the hospital. And it actually looks like an, uh, just a military crate. And there's one on each floor. I'm on the second floor here, seeing pathology. This is where the majority of the mixing centers are. There's several of them in here. So we're going to go in here. I got enough parts to do uh, 10 treated brains. I had two from the previous video. Um, my buddy's helping me out with some specimen bags and some reducers. So I got enough here to do uh, for 10. Actually, I got a little bit more here for the infected brains, but it doesn't let you split them up. So you just throw them all in there. Throw in the eight syringes, infected blood, eight empty specimen bags, and the eight vials of H1Z1 reducer. And it's going to start spitting out these treated brains. Once I get all these brains, I'm going to go up to the fourth floor instead of doing this one right here to my left. Uh, and see what it's going to give me. See if we can figure out what this is going to do, what it's going to give us. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it's not what I expect, but we're going to find out here in a minute. Let's see, we got these treated brains. It's spitting them out. Fortunately, I have some buddies here running around the hospital making sure we don't get shanghai in here, get tagged. And it's slowly spitting them out. It takes about five, six seconds or so per treated brain. But like I said, there's four boxes in this hospital, one on each floor. There we go. I still got four infected brains left. There's the last treated brain. Put them all in back in my inventory. Let's see, there's five treated brains there. Where's the other ones? Uh, there's an infected brain. Oh, there we go, down at the bottom. I got five treated brains there and five treated brains up in my pocket, apparently, in my pants or my slacks. I'm not going to go to this box, but there's four of them. They all look the same. And let's see what it gives. I found specimen bags right here last time I was here. If I ever give it a shot, see if, see if there's any more. Doesn't appear to be any. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm going to go up. Oh, wrong way. Let's go up to the stairs. We'll go up the fourth floor. The fourth floor is really kind of strange. It's a dark blue. Everything, all the walls are dark blue. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking in there. But I figured if I'm going to do this, I'll start off on the fourth floor. See how they're all blue? Wander around here. And it's in this room right here, back in this corner. Yep, right there. Specimen box. It looks like a regular old military crate. I go over here. Let's see what's now wait a minute. It's over here. Back here. Look over here. Up oh, yep. Over here. Come on. Over here. There we go. Up here. So it's back here in this corner. Got this. I'm gonna put these treated brains in here. We're gonna see what's gonna give us. For some reason I'm thinking I'm gonna be disappointed, but let's see. Part of a coded message, two antibiotic pills that you can find all over the place here, and four nine millimeter rounds. That is terrible. That is awful. Let's let's see what this part of this coded this part of this coded message is. Let's pop this up. Let's see. Part of a coded message appears part of a military code sequence with a few more pieces. You could use a long range radio to call in an airdrop. So that's what it is. Each one of these crates on each floor is going to give you part of this coded message. Get it all put together, and then you can use the cell phone with uh, probably at least two or three uh, of these battery, the weak batteries that you find around here, and you're going to be able to do an airdrop. So that's piss poor. I think Daybreak should do a little better and put something better, something out of their other crates that you got to buy. One thing in each of these to make it worthwhile. There you have it. Not very good on these lockers either. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Definitely subscribe, and have a good one. We'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Pull my heart out of my chest. Train my mind so I forget. Sink it.
teeth into my bones Dig me out and fill the hole Tear me apart 